this is the title that Corey and Ava came up with. Beyond the Never-Ending Mind, Poems of the Unspoken by Ava Chavez, Coriana Yo, and Marissa Aranda. This poetry book is by Indigitized Native Youth Media Arts and Activism, dedicated to the strength in our words, the vision in our voices, the possibilities beyond this book. I was thinking maybe you guys could each read your own poems if you want out loud. Eva, are you willing to read your poems out loud? Yeah, I'll read it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Surroundings. My head is overpowered by my dreams. They discover new things every passing minute, every second, every hour. They are created like the moon and the stars are shown in the night sky. Jumping cliff to cliff, proving to show the risky behavior. It feels as if I'm free like the wind, as colorful as a rainbow, as daring as a lion, but the feeling of hurt still lingers. If you were to touch my hair, it will be soft to the touch, as if you were touching a feather. My skin will be warm like being near a small nighting fire. But my heart is cold like it was stabbed by a shard of ice that grows deeper and deeper. Despite my heart interior, I am as sweet like the grass that grows near the river. I can be gentle like a leaf being carried by flowing water. Shy like a porcupine that hides. But fun once you get to know me, yet only together is where you'll see me. Flashing like a thunderstorm is my only source of light. My soul is dark like the clouds that are swirling around me. My faith for the sun to come back is starting to run low. The clouds start slowly fading away, and my love for the sun grew once I saw the afternoon sky. Determined to find the beautiful yet independent person to share this peaceful morning. Black. Black is the meaning of fear, power, mystery, strength, aggression, and death. It is hated on for its lack of hue and lack of brightness. No one ever appreciates the color black, seeing that it represents the darkness around us, or for some, inside of us. But to those who love the dark, who love to see the nice sky, are the ones that aren't afraid. Everyone is influenced to love bold and bright colors, but not everyone is the same. For those who can love a color so dark, so mysterious, are the ones that can truly make a difference. Great job, Eva. Wow. Okay. I love the one you added. Those are beautiful. They're making me cry, though. <laughs> Mm -hmm. they're so good they're so from your heart they're beautiful they're thank you, so, thank you for sharing and thank you for reading it um yeah marissa you could go and then we'll come back to corey okay in a rough and dangerous area oneself appears gentle being interesting and diverse she couldn't be more subtle but inside of the head are where she keeps everything pounded to let out to the spirits who seem to keep her grounded to them she expresses her sensitivity and emotional concerns and because she's so connected, she always returns. They tell her to continue her physical work because at the end of the day, she gets to hear the bridge chirp. I honestly don't know where I see myself in 10 years. Maybe I'll be a coffee addict or in a bar saying cheers, or maybe I'll be in college stressing for more time. Maybe I'll be writing another poem, figuring out how to rhyme. I want to be a better me, but if only I could see where I will be in 10 years, it's only up to me. Yes, Marissa, that was wonderful. Good job and keep it up. Oh, look, there's a hawk. Can you hear the hawk? <laughs> the hawk was saying, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm at a park. I had to pull over. There's a hawk out there. So that was beautiful, Marissa. Thank you. Thank you. And keep it up. Um, Corey, are you there now? Yeah. Would you like to read your poems? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> my art. I'm good at anything to do with art. I love to paint and draw. 
However, I don't do it as much as I wish to now because of school. So instead I have been baking a lot. In a way, I guess baking is art because I decorate cakes. I make them all different colors and shapes. A dream in progress. To be able to accept my future self and to be able to travel the world. To go on trips that I'll remember. To do it alone is great. But what's better is to go with my cat named Ollie so she too can see what I see. However, I'm sure I'd still be studying all day instead of traveling every day. I'll still be working hard, but you'll see I'll reach that successful part. Until then, it's all a dream. Until I'm ready to make it a reality. Without regular school, limited socializing and traveling, it was boring, lonely, and repetitive every day. So to make use of it, I wanted to improve my drawing. Alongside the limited socializing and very long, solitary field days, I grew to love the sky at any time of day and night. I watched the changing of different weather conditions over the days and months. That seemed like the only thing to really change now. From the moment I loved the sky, my favorite feature was the moon. It was beautiful in the day as it was that night. Find your path. I stand on my mother's shoulders because she was the only one there. She made a path for years and years to help me. But now after following it for so long, so far, it's not changing. Probably because I know her path through the stories, the stories that made me follow her. And following her made me realize what do I stand for if all I do is follow her exact path. It's not wrong, but that path is for her. What if I go along her path, but not exactly? I'll make my own for my life and my goals, goals that I hope to achieve and make come true, so that if someone needs to stand on my shoulders, I will know that in some way I help them find their path. Awesome job, Corey. Really beautiful, Corey. Yes, that was her. You girls all did so good, and I'm just really proud of you and so, so thankful that you all were able to stick through it and um, complete these and look at your cooking, baking, dealing with pandemic, all sorts of things and just family lives and craziness and good stuff. And you did some beautiful work. Any parting words or anything you guys want to do before we go? I think one of the, the biggest reasons I wanted to do this um, program was because I love, you know, just working with other people um, in like, you know, a school. Um, and I think throughout my years of college, I kind of been like insulated and I wasn't really feeling like I was in touch with, you know, a community beyond that of my college. And I think this really gave me the chance to do that. And I think seeing from where we all started um, to where we are now, it's not so much as anybody's like, you know, improved or gained new skills or as it is more about Bo, Julia, Gina, and I have kind of gotten to see more of, uh, you know, the really cool and inspiring people you all already were. Um, so thank you for sharing your time, um, your art and, you know, your energy with us all. Um, really fun. And I know we said this before, but, you know, um, we just really hope um, that whatever you kind of been able to pick up with like Canva or writing or photos is something that, you know, you can just like continue doing uh, beyond this class. Um, and I think the kind of structure we try to keep in this class was, you know, it's not like, you know, you're getting graded on any of this. It's more about we really hope that, you know, you kind of kind of have fun doing it because that's really important. Um, then when after the silver, you can kind of use that and like, you know, explore and make art that is personal to you because all of you have such individual stories to share. Um, and yeah, it's just been really cool. I really had fun in this workshop. I really liked it. <laughs> and I'm really it, glad to hear it. It made me write more. So it made it made school a little less stressful because it gave me something to do. Gave, um, if I didn't do this, I'm pretty sure I'd still be really stressed out with school instead of not drawing or focusing on writing what I rarely do. So, yeah. And 
And thank you to Shanawar. I think you made the learning environment a lot more fun and interactive with your theater games and uh, <laughs> our forced group storytelling. <laughs> but I think we got a lot better at it over the semester and I thought it was a really fun part of the workshop. Um, so thank you for bringing in your theater and knowledge. Um, I think it was a good addition. And I would just like to say to Ava, Corey, and Marissa, I really enjoyed working with you all this semester and I'm always very impressed by your work. Um, I know it's really hard to learn in this environment and format. And so I'm really proud of you guys for sticking through it and coming out with a great photo book. It really exceeded my expectations. Um, I didn't know if we were gonna be able to like do a group project together, like since we're all in like different cities, but um, I think it turned out really well. Ava, did you wanna add anything? No, I'm not someone who can speak <laughs> like words like you guys do, so. You can just write them. Just keep writing, girl, because your writing is like most awesome ever. So we're like, we're um, expecting, you know, in the future, poetry books, novels, you know, because your writing mm -hmm. is amazing. And I just want to encourage you in every way we can. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, have a good weekend and a good summer. Good luck in school. Congratulations. Congratulations on all your great work. Yeah. So we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Take care.